praise the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who died and rose again. I greet to all from wherever you are watching from. Have you ever been there and you want to call someone, but you can't get them? Or have you ever been there and you want to call your father or your mother and you want to talk to them and you can't get them? Or there is that specific time you want to call them because you're sure at that time they are free, they will give you attention. Or someone is calling you at a time when you're very busy and you can't access, you can't pick up the phone. We all have those times when you're like, at this time I'm very busy, I don't want phone calls. Well, there are times we don't want to pick phone calls because we are very busy. And there are also people we can't get access to because it's not easy. For example, the president. I may want to call the president because there are very many things I want to tell him, but I don't have his contact. And even if I got it, he, it has to go through his secretary or his assistant or a minister or people around him. Even if it's you, if you want to talk to the president, it may not be easy for you. If you're employed by an organization, it's not easy to get to the CEO or the managing director. Unless if you're the manager somewhere or you are the departmental leader somewhere, but if you're just an employee somewhere, it's not easy. But there's someone who is above all the managers, who is above the presidents, who is above everything in the universe. We can call at any time. He is available at any time to listen to us. He doesn't have that specific time we are supposed to call. He doesn't have that specific day we are supposed to call. He doesn't have an assistant or a secretary. We can get to him directly. And that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When we were younger in kindergarten, there is a song we used to sing. It had a chorus that would go as, Telephone to Jesus, telephone to Jesus, telephone to Jesus every day. Jesus says, I love you. I say, I love you too. So with some verses, you would say everything you need from him through that prayer, through that song. So that song would encourage us to pray to Jesus every day, every now and then. And that is what I have come to talk to you about today, that Jesus is always available to listen from us, to talk to us, to listen to us. He is the, that one person we can call at any one time, any day, from anywhere. His line is always open 24-7, 365 days a year. We can always talk to him. What does the scripture say? We're going to read from the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 12. It says, According to his eternal purpose that he accomplished in Christ our Lord, in him through faith we may approach God with freedom and confidence. In Jesus Christ, through faith, we can approach God with freedom and confidence. We can approach God at any time, any time, from anywhere, with confidence, because of Jesus Christ. Amen? You don't have to get through an assistant to talk to Jesus. You can talk to Jesus even right now as you're watching this video. The other verse says in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. This one, we've heard it very many times. Call to me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Call to me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. God is going to show you mighty things which you do not know about. We have a lot of challenges in this life. We have unemployment. We have financial distress. We have brokenness. We have difficulties in marriages. We have difficulties in academics. We have difficulties with the economy, with our bosses, with our neighbors, with our leaders. But there is one person we can talk to. And he is going to show us great and mighty things we do not know about when we call unto him. God's line is toll free and it is open at any time. No network issues. You don't have to load any credit. He is just waiting. How amazing is it that God is there willing and ready to listen to us. He is waiting to hear from us at any time. I want to encourage you today to call unto God, to pray. To read the Bible, read the verses, get encouraged, pray to God, whatever you're going through, God is there ready and willing to listen to you and he will talk to you, he will answer you, he will show you great and mighty things. The last verse I want you to go with is in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 13, that whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. When you call upon the name of the Lord in that unemployment, in that financial distress, in that brokenness, in those breakups, in whatever is stressing, whatever is bothering you, 
God is going to save you. Let us call on the name of the Lord from anywhere, from any time. You don't have to go through someone to talk to God. You don't have to go through your pastor to talk to God. You can say that prayer. You don't have to go through a friend. You don't have to go through a high-ranked priest. You don't have to go through anything. God is there. The scriptures have told us that he is there waiting for us to call unto him. And he will answer to us. He hasn't told us to first do something to talk to him. He is there ready to listen to us at any time. I want to encourage you today, from wherever you are, from wherever you're watching from, don't give up on calling God. You don't have to wait for a specific time to call when the network is clear. You can call him today. You can talk to him right now. You can call him tomorrow. You can call him in the night. You can call him at your workplace. You can call him while you're driving your, your, your car. You can call him when you're eating. He is always ready to listen. And he is ready to serve you. Be blessed. Shalom.